All right, as promised, we're back with puppy training. So I got everything else done. Here. Oh, they're absolutely precious, precious, precious. So I think you have to say one of the tools that I'm going to use to train puppies is indifference. And I'm just, oh, nothing in life is free. Yeah, let's ascribe to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what we do. No, that's not what it is. I just don't have reactions to certain things. It, nothing in life and free is free is wrong and you should definitely not follow that methodology if you said right because things in life are free uh, if you said uh, samples there's free samples <laughs> sure there's a hitch but you know there, things in life are free so it's not nothing in life is free uh certain things just don't garner any reaction <laughs> that's all if you said well, what if they do well then they get bigger so anyway, look at these jumbos. Look, just he's a chunky butt, and of course he looks bigger next to little little Luna because little little Luna is so little little little. Hi, David. I don't even know what channel am I on. Am I on? Oh, David. I think David's the. Uh, he's either a writer or a filmmaker. I don't know. I gotta show you my video, David, on YouTube. I'm practically the Spielberg of YouTube with this video. <laughs> if you said, how good are you? Not that good, David, not that good. That's the scary part. You don't have to be that good on there because <laughs> the standards are so low. And if you said based on your average person can't make a video, I think I've got a problem with your, your people can't train a dog. I can imagine what these filmmakers think. You put a camera in every mofo's hand and they still can't take a picture. They take a picture of the camera video, they can't organize anything, they can't direct anything, they can't do anything. There's nothing they can do. There's absolutely nothing. It's awful. It's, they don't remember what about drive a car? No, they can't do that either. Shoot a gun? No. From what I can tell, they can't shoot a gun either. From what I can tell, all these people with concealed carry permits are not crack shots. That's the scary part. Anyway, so I've got my sunglasses. I'm just going to do a little bit. Oh, hi, Catalan! Catalin, this is very, very exciting. Hi, Anita. Oh, Anita's just breaking down. There's still one left, Anita. Pinky, the little, the little light-colored one. Anyway, this is, and if you said, what do you need to be able to train puppies to do this? One, you have to have the ability not to keep reaching for them and touching them. Two, you have to be surgical with your hands to help them understand, I need you to set it in my hand, not give it to me, and I want you to give it to me. Boy, once people start saying that, I don't like them. I want it to do this. I, who cares what you want? It's got its own ideas. <laughs> David's like, okay, yeah. How do I know this woman? <laughs> this one, no, this one saying, How do I know this woman? <laughs> oh, dear. How do I know this woman? She's dreadful. She's absolutely dreadful. Dreadful American woman. Look at her. She's awful. This is my later in the day look. Anyway, so what I'm saying to myself is, it's a micro task. I'm gonna set the thing down, I'm not gonna throw it, I'm not gonna fling it, I'm not gonna say get it. I'm gonna imply by looking at it, but my job then is to as quickly as possible reward the behavior, not, well, I want you to hold on to it, and I want you, who cares what I want? No one cares what I want. <laughs> I figured that out a long time ago, <laughs> last Tuesday. <laughs> Yay. Anyway, I, they're, they're picking it up under the premise that it's there. And if you said, my, well, my job right there was to pull my hand away. And I didn't give her the treat right away. Let me give you a little bit closer shot. Um, I didn't give her the treat right away, but I've got a slight, I've got a slight little leeway now. I'm going to decorate my set out here too. I'm going to get that playhouse and bring it out here. It's going to be much more colorful. Kelly is very colorful. I've got to go more for the Spielberg thing. Yeah, yeah, on YouTube with that father trains puppy, uh, father teaches puppies to swim. Oh yeah, Jesus. Jesus, I'm practically Spielberg. I put the camera in a hand grip, walked around. Don't mean this. And to these people, I'm Spielberg. Okay, so I can get, I've got a couple of things I can do. And if you said, well, what demonstrable behaviors do you have? Okay, I can get them to move in my direction very, very quickly. And it does seem to imprint them with that. So, <laughs> she's a dog. Oh my God. <laughs> Wherever we're 
we're going, we're gonna get there fast. That's what they're saying, wherever we're going. Oh my God, I'm not, I'm so slow with the treats today. All right, hang on, I gotta put these in my pocket. I'm awful, don't be like me. I just didn't want, I just didn't want the hoodie to get all disgusting, but hey, who cares? No one cares. So they're already going to go on the platform, which is just going to help me later. <laughs> and I'm just rewarding the behavior of going on there. So, you know, the handler, be or the, the platform becomes a de facto handler. Hi, Mona. You've got to get it in motion. I, you know, it's very, very painful because people, well, it chases squirrels, it chases this, it chases that. I, on the other hand, stand there like a tree and it has no interest in me. Hmm. What could be the common denominator between everything this effing dog is interested in? Here's an idea. Something that's moving. Something that's moving. So I can do it with the... <laughs> oh! He's almost going over the jump. But they're, you know, they're, 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 they're very deliberate because I'm very deliberate. <laughs> So I've, I've never told them to go on the platform. I've never told them to go on there. And, you know, if you said, well, I, I like to get constant and pull them up there, I'd say, I know Adam Spivey, but that doesn't work. <laughs> so, oh yeah, I gotta send you that link, Mona, of this guy. He, he hasn't replied to me, I don't think, I don't even know. There's nothing he can say. There's nothing he can say. It's armchair activism, you're trying to inflame people. and. Those people don't know anything about dogs, so... <laughs> if he says, what are you basing that? Every serious pro on the planet uses an electronic collar because they understand it's uh, the ability to augment your skill and the weakness that you have when you don't have any way to control this dog when this thing's way over there. <sighs> Apparently, according to Jamie, the Scots are just now inventing the wheel. They're not, apparently, I've been forced to realize every man in Scotland is not like Liam Neeson. I mean, I, I mean how am I even supposed to deal with this? I'm pretty sure that's where that Roddy Kirk from, is from. He's absolutely awful. And if he sees me anywhere on the internet, he makes it a point to come out and say, oh, I don't know what I'm doing, I, whatever he says, I don't even know what he says, but, you know, makes it a point to come out and try to, you know, I don't know what he tries to say, but yeah, I'm, 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 believe me, Mona, I'll show you his videos. If he said he's any good, no, he's not. There is such a thing as people that aren't any good at all. And if you said who? This guy. Not any good at all. <laughs> it's true. It's true. You said why? His training is based on Jeff Gelman. That's why. Do I need to say any more? Okay, so I got my, I've got my movement. And I'm kind of saying, by driving them to the platform, then I can, I, I can do a recall with a stationary handler later. Oh, you just happened to see it? I was just ripping on this guy. It's ridiculous. If you said, this guy is more interested and in knowledgeable about animals, <laughs> I already did the jump. And his work is advancing, his work is advancing nothing. He's just sitting around at his armchair activism. That's what he's doing. Inflaming people and trying to, oh, love me, love me. I hate shot collars, love me. Who cares? Who cares what you like? You don't know anything about dogs, you know? <laughs> I'll tell you who cares, not me. Okay, so. Yeah, you can see they already tore the handle off the bucket. Okay, there we go. It's, it's definitely putting it in my hand. It gets, a, it gets a little dicey when there's more than one of them. Oh, how absolutely perfect. They're sad in synchronization. It's crazy. All right, they don't, they don't realize. All right, what I can try to do is just get one of them. If I look over here, they'll come around. They're just looking at me. <laughs> oh, he did come around, you little cutie. 
He did come around, and he came around too. You're too cute. All right, and I was watching, because I knew that one was on the ground over there. If they see it. <laughs> my job is to pull my hand away. That's why I like the bucket, too. You can get people at least get them holding on to the bucket. But if you said the only way you accomplished that was being very surgical about your hands. Yes, I'm pretty sure that's what it was. So, all right, let me distract this one over here. All right, there we go. I mean, he's decidedly putting it in my hand. Am I wrong? He's putting it on this one. Which is, oh, this one actually got, ouch! All right, watch. If you said, what do I need to do? Jumbo's going home Friday, and then I got to talk to Kasima. Oh, Kasima isn't on this channel, but I got to talk to Kasima about just getting a month of training for a little, little Luna, because if you said, why? Well, Kasima's very, very busy. Kasima's busy, leading a very busy life in Miami. That's where Kelly comes in. <laughs> anyway, so, okay, now what I've got is puppies scattering all over the place. And if you said, well, call them individually. No. I'm going to put it on the platform because they're all going to appear there. And if you said, what am I looking for? I like velocity. And if you said, it, the platform's an easy... Oh, look at them. They're going over the thing. <laughs> so they do have a default of returning to the handler. But I kind of want them to scatter and then return them to the platform. Because that is kind of returning them to a stationary handler. And if you said, well, they're going so fast, they're not they're not planning on stopping, they're actually sliding and stuff. Yeah, that's it's very scary how they are just default to going up there. And I do, I don't know if you use that, that climb mona. I totally recommend people getting up. I'm in love with that thing. I could see it being okay, look, look, okay. We got puppies gone, puppies gone. Alright, if you said what can you do? And I, I, I think that's why you've got to have, if you said, well, your voice could reach a level of abruptness equivalent of that. No, it couldn't. It couldn't, especially not this late in the day. All right, hang on, hang on. If you said the reason, the, the pan is so effective, because I didn't always use the pan. I can find videos from 10 years ago. I didn't have the pan. I had the verbal. And it did work. I think I saw that the verbal worked, but it lacked the abruptness. Because if you said, well, he was hell-bent on going to the pond. Oh, no, he was going to the pond. The only thing that got him back was that abruptness of the sound. If you said, Phew, it was like, Phew, that's how that's... I'd say yes, it is. It's probably a very, it's probably, they're hearing it as a vibration, is what I would say. Anyway, okay, let's go for a walk now. Oh, wait, wait, let's do sunglasses a little bit more. I love doing the sunglasses. <laughs> if you said you haven't prepped them, what? What? I, I gotta just have a trick to it so that there, some of them are distracted. I'm just gonna look over this way, see if they look. Ah! Oh, he's pretty clever. <laughs> so I, I think they're, they're hardwired. You said you're just exploiting what they've already got. <laughs> I would say I, I'm totally, I'm totally exploiting what they've already got. And if you're telling somebody, you know, oh, your singing is great, sing more, and they start singing more, you know. <laughs> That's basically what I'm doing. I'm saying I love what you do and make it bigger. And that's why I'm getting all the leaping and all that. <laughs> it's just a byproduct. I'm not asking them to do it. Maybe it's a byproduct of what? I think we have to list. You know, what do dogs do when they're happy? 
you know, and then, oh, it gets excited and jumps all over us. Okay, so don't be some killjoy, you know, that says don't get excited. Understand if I can only place that excitement within my obedience, I'll have houncy bouncy Doberman, you know, because if you said, well, why? That's what that dog does in free agency. I can show you videos when he's playing with other dogs. He does like that Bronco and, you know, oh my God, you're so thirsty. I know, and I don't even tell him to sit, Mona. It's, it is scary. I mean, how tuned in there. You know, that's, it's, if you said what to me, what do I think when I see it? I think, I think to myself, I probably have underestimated the level of consciousness these things have based on, you know, what you're already able to get them to do. Because if you said, well, I've been watching the, they're not really putting the sunglasses in your hand, you're doing it as a, Oh, they really are. That's the crazy part. <laughs> they really are. Uh-oh. All right, so what I want is them to kind of scatter. And it is. I mean, they are... If you said, all I'm seeing here is what puppies do when they see their mother. And they all mob it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, that's exactly. <laughs> that's exactly what happens. You know, because that's how I started doing it. I've got another litter now. Never usually have them this close together, but it was, yes. they all come in heat at once. So I'm going to start those at three and a half weeks. And, you know, I've never had anybody, even even when I did, I used to do thing, I used to say, here's your mother. When I called him, here's your mother. You know, that's how it started. I, I, when the mother came in, I'd say, here's your mother. Kind of like, here's Johnny. And then they would all, as soon as they heard, here's your mother, they'd start charging and stuff. So, these people that bought them would still, even if these dogs would be six years old, it would run away. Of course, they weren't very good trainers, but they would still, in a pinch, be able to yell, here's your mother, and these things came back. <laughs> these things came back. So, you know, they're going to follow me if I move, but, I, you know, they're going to also scatter if I stand still. If I just stand still and start pretending like I'm talking to my phone. Uh-huh. Yes, I'm pretending to be talking on my phone. Uh-huh, yeah, uh -huh. You know, I think you want to just practice. And if you said, well, they need a bunch of hugs and love, it's it's not. It's just a behavior. It's just a behavior. And it isn't an emotional behavior. It isn't that they, they love food. And you know, people that sit there and don't want to use food and stuff, what? I mean, do you ever go out to eat? What do you just sit at your house eating bread every day? It's, it's you know, back in the dark ages, it was the only thing people had to live for. That's why we got all these great chefs and everything now because it was the only th it was the only thing if you said where are you getting that that movie kate and leopold that was hugh jackman's line <laughs> that was the only thing and it makes life bearable cuisine yeah but you can imprint them you know this mona if you walk they're gonna follow you so what about the mother well, of course if the mother walks they're gonna follow it they're gonna follow anything that moves some people don't understand it chases this it chases that it goes after everything that moves I'm a stationary handler, and it won't look at me twice. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> anyway, I got a message from George. Oh, are you still mad at me? Because I blocked him for like a week. I said, George, I'm not mad, but I go out of my way for you guys. And, you know, <laughs> your little instant accusations. Were <laughs> you know, I'm just, I'm not going to put up with that. Anyway, no, no, he's all sorry, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> no, I'd be sorry, too. I wouldn't want me out of my life either if I was him. Shh. He's not going to be able to have to explain to the kids. Kelly can't stand daddy. Okay. Uh-oh. Oh, nitro canine. Oh, no, Mona. I don't know about that. That guy is so awful. So, oh, he blocked me. It, it's just... They're not... If you said, well, Kelly, when these dogs go home, they're getting results. You know they're not. Oh, boy. We got to go through the... Okay. This is the natural obstacle course. Jamie, if you're there, this is my tribute to the movie Mud. 
that uh, Ben Nichols' brother made. If you watch the movie, you'll know what it is. Oh no, Mona, block that nitro canine. That guy is an ass. And one of these coaster boaster types. Oh, look at low, look at him. Oh, he's doing amazing. It's not doing anything. He's just talking. All right, we gotta go through this jungle part. It's very scary. A bear could get me. A bear could get me. It would be under YouTubers who were eaten by a bear. <laughs> All right, hang on, hang on. Oh my goodness. Anyway, they're gonna stay with me, just by. Ah! Okay, here we are, Nod. How beautiful.